Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to discuss a real trade involving Netflix. We'll explore the concept of shorting options and how it played out in this particular Netflix trade. Shorting options can be a great way to make money when prices fall, but there's also a downside risk we'll look at as well. So let's dive into the details of this Netflix trade and see how shorting options can be a profitable strategy. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Fine. Another way to make money in the stock market is by shorting stock. This means that I can sell a stock that I don't even own yet, and if the price goes down, I can make money by buying the stock back at a lower price. Here's an example of how shorting works. Let's say you short a stock at $100, and the price falls to $90. You can buy the stock back for $90 and earn a profit of $10 per share. You can always use the same idea in options trading by shorting an option. Shorting stocks or betting against their price going up can be risky because there's no limit to how much the stock price can increase. When it comes to call options, the option price is tied to the stock price, and the call option can gain intrinsic value as the stock price increases. This means that if the stock price rises significantly, the call option can become very valuable. There's no limit to how much the call option price can increase. This means that when you short a call option, your risk is theoretically unlimited because the option price can keep increasing with the stock price and its intrinsic value can keep going up. Now we're going to go into a Netflix example by shorting a call option. On August 18, 2022, the stock price for Netflix was $245.32. Let's say you're interested in the 265 call strike price that expires on September 16, 2022. The first thing you want to know is whether the call option is in the money or out of the money. Does it have intrinsic value? In this case, the call option is out of the money since the stock price is below $265 strike price, and it also does not have any intrinsic value. The premium of $4.45 multiplied by 10 is $445. If you decide to place this trade, you will receive $445 into your account. By placing this trade, you're essentially betting that Netflix will stay below the $265 strike price before September 16th. This is how a short call option works. Now, before you place this trade, it's important to understand the potential risks and reward. The maximum gain you can make from this trade is $445, which is the premium you would receive. However, if the stock price goes above $265 before September 16th, you could potentially lose a lot of money since you would have to buy the call option back at a higher price to close out the trade. That would be your maximum loss, which could be significant if the stock price continues to rise. Here's a chart of Netflix on September 16th. First, we mentioned that the strike price was $265 and the premium that you would collect is $4.45. Add those together and you would have a break-even price of $269.45. The max profit is $445 and it's also the premium price that you receive. However, in order to place this trade, the broker requires you to have in your account almost $5,400. That is the margin requirement to execute this trade. So 15 days later, Netflix moved down to $19.21. Let's look at the option chain to find out what happened. After 15 days, Netflix went down from $245.32 to $226.11. And in this short call options trade, the strike price of the $265 call went down in value and now is worth 51 cents. So hopefully thus far you can understand when you buy options, it's a buy low, sell high approach. You buy the option and you hope that the option price increases and then you can sell the option at a higher price and pocket the difference in your purchase price and sale price. Shorting options is the exact same, but it's in the reverse. So you sell first with the goal of buying low later. If you want to sell an option short, you're betting that the price will fall. If the price does fall, you buy it back at a lower price. 